Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wine Text TV. Wine Text TV brought to you by WineText.com, America's new obsession when buying wine. Episode two is here, and as we are on this journey of rebooting the show that took me to the places in my career where I am today, we decided for episode two to bring the most popular guest in wine library TV history, my father, Sasha Vaynerchuk. Hello, everybody. Thank you. All right, Dad. Thank you. What do you think about Wine Text TV? What do you think about me rebooting the show? And more importantly, how excited are you to be on episode two? Because it is Sauvignon Blanc with Sasha. Not exactly my favor. Yeah, you don't even like Sauvignon Blanc. Well, please. Well, do you like it? I've never seen you drink it. I will, yes. I would drink once in a blue moon. I would drink. uh, By choice, in a year, Mm -hmm. how many times do you drink Sauvignon Blanc? Tell the truth. I always tell the truth. Yep, you do, you do. My dad is a very straight shooter. And I found candor now. <laughs> Actually, I'll be, I be honest with you. I will Please drink, answer the no, question. No, no, no. I would not drink it probably at home, but when I go to uh, an event or something. In a year, it, I'm going to break it down, Dad. In a year, by choice. By choice. Oh, by choice. How many times in a year, by choice, do you drink Sauvignon Blanc? Twice. Two more than I thought. Unlike my father, Sauvignon Blanc has become incredibly popular with many wine drinkers. As a matter of fact, when I was doing Wine Library TV from 2006 to 2011, Sauvignon Blanc was solid, New Zealand was hot, Sancerre was known, but nowhere as hot as it is today, and California Sauvignon Blanc used to even be my kind of whipping boy of choice on the show because I thought they were really gloppy and were like almost trying to be Chardonnay all of that has changed in a big way. Sancerre has exploded in America and is a huge passion of many people's drinkers. New Zealand continues to stay a high value white wine that people love. And California Sauvignon Blanc has done a resurrection in the last 20 years of getting crisper and cleaner and acting more like this than let's say the Chardonnays that I thought they were aspiring to be for no reason when they were Sauvignon Blanc. This has all created an incredibly interesting marketplace for Sauvignon Blanc now where many people have made it its white wine of choice. Brandon and I, (laughs) Dustin's very rusty. Brandon and I are looking at different wines to buy in California and Sauvignon Blanc is more expensive than Chardonnay. It's insane. So Sauvignon Blanc has become extremely popular and we thought it would be an amazing wine to focus on in episode two of Wine Text TV. Dad, yes. we also have some cheese here. Right. And we asked uh, Aaron and Josh. No crackers. Well, there's no crackers at Vayner Media. Uh, we've got some cheese here that we asked Aaron and Josh from the gourmet department at Wine Library, which is getting much better. I know, much better. Much, much yes. better. Absolutely. The gourmet, the selection of cheese is getting crazy. Brandon, Not only tell us. The selection oh. of cheeses, I think. It's the gourmet department. Yeah, the service, yeah. the knowledge. Over to Brandon on the cheese update. Brandon, what do we have here? What did Erin send over to you? So it looks like she sent over, it's called Chabrin. It's a southern French goat cheese. Great for Sauvignon Blanc. Creamy goat. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dad, how are you liking mm-hmm. it? You've been eating? Yep. What do you think? I'm hungry. Well, you have dinner at the Maven tonight. Yes, that's right. I'm going to Maven You tonight. eat at Little okay. Maven more often than you drink Sauvignon Blanc. True. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. First wine, zoom in. Oyster Bay, 2023 Sauvignon Blanc, 87 points wine enthusiast, 90 points James Suckling, uh, found around the country between $10 and $15 a bottle. Again, on this show, we want to focus on wines that we think you can find and a couple of smaller producers. Let's give it a snippy sniff. So on the nose, I get a little bit of a grassiness, which is normal. Now, one thing for all of you to note, we are tasting all four of these wines at room temperature, which will allow us to actually taste the essence of the wine. 
Too many people in America and around the world drink their white wines and their rosés too cold. I call it the, you know, high sc- the, the high school beer rule. You drink such crappy beer in high school. Like Natty Light and, you know. Yeah, might as well drink Carlo Rossi or something, five liters. You know something. what I mean? Like yeah. really yeah, bad you, you beer to kids, you know? Right. So you get it ice cold so you can't right. even taste right. it. Right. You don't go buy a $30 bottle of white wine and get it ice cold so you can't get the flavor. You might as well get a $10 bottle of wine and get it ice cold and not get the flavor. So let's chill a little bit with that. Now, most of you will not taste these wines at room temperature, but let's get it a slight chill instead of ice cold. On the Sniffy Sniff, which you can get a lot more aromatically when it's warmer, I get a little bit of grassiness. I get a little hint of kiwi. And there's a, a, a little, almost like evergreen minty thing going on. Let's get, you're done? Okay. Done. Any thoughts? Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. Well that makes sense because I, I am like, very disappointed with this wine. Yeah. yeah. First of all, it something, tastes. Something. Well, what's off is if I pour this to friends and told them that it was just water with a little bit of cucumber and a little bit of grapefruit, like they would, um, they would believe me. Not a fan. No. no. All right. Yeah, I find this wine to be incredibly thin, um, really not interesting, extremely basic. Um, even at 10 to $15, I would say this is a major pass. I'm a little bit more with the wine enthusiast than I am James Sucklin. He gave it a 90, which I just don't see, and I like James a lot. 87 wine enthusiast, I think, is way too high as well. I realized when I looked back that I was too nice to the Josh Cab on the last episode, mainly because I think I was a little rusty, and I was just so happy to be doing the show again. I think Josh got very lucky that it was in episode one, not episode two. (laughs) Episode one, episode two, Oyster Bay, I'm gonna give this wine 80 points. Big shout out to Wayne Corbett, who wore number 80 as a New York Jet. and I think it might even be a 79, but I just wanted to give Wayne Corbett a shout out. Uh, a really underwhelming effort and continues to be an interesting insight to like, I know this is a popular wine for a lot of people and I just believe it's because they haven't had other versions. I just think that they haven't had many or different New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs to understand them in contrast. And again, to remind you why Wine Text TV exists, you must go try new and different wines. And this, for example, could be that. Let's see if this one does any better. Anna, 2022, Sauvignon Blanc, 93 points from Sam Kim, $15 wine. Similar similar kind of little rinse. Notice the difference in smell right off the bat. Like, these wines are basically in the same price point. Yeah, it's different. Aromatically, it's so much stronger. It's different. Gooseberry, kiwi again, similar, but, you know, ironically, celery comes through as well, but very grassy. Almost like fresh grass. Yeah, it's soft, nice and smooth. Definitely, definitely. Much better. This wine is, this is why taste, by the way, if you really wanna learn about wine, let me give you some fun facts. Let's say you're curious about wine. Create, and your friends that are, or even if they're not that into it, create a Friday night wine party where everybody has to bring one bottle of the same type of thing and like, you know, Friday night, all your friends, you get together and everyone bring a bottle of Pinot Noir between 20 and 40 bucks. Then bring it, and then if you really wanna have fun, put them in brown paper bags, pour it, and taste and see what you like. But when you taste things in contrast, you would know. I believe that many of you would taste this Oyster Bay and see it differently than I see it. I've tasted wine professionally for my whole life. You know, I, even post Wine Library TV, I'm like into wine more as like a normal person. It's not even my profession. And, I, and it, it's not like, like I'm critiquing it, but you might be like, and people on Twitch right now that are live, if you ever wanna watch this show live, it's twitch.tv slash Gary V. They might be like, wait, I like Oyster Bay. Makes sense if you haven't had it in contrast. If you have all your friends over and everybody brings a Pinot Grigio and everybody brings different Pinot Grigios, right? And then you taste them all, then you're like, oh wait, this is better than this and this. We're tasting these wines side by side. They're in the basic same price point and the wines couldn't be more different. This is dramatically heavier. I like it better. It's dramatically heavier. 
It's got more viscosity, thicker. Like this is literally like That's water. Thicker, right? It's got great, great bright fruit. Um, uh, cantaloupe, uh, melon, green melon. Super grassy, much stronger acidity, and it's just a much better wine. 93 point Sam King, for me maybe 91, 92. This is very good. This is like, this is quintessential under $20 New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc that's good. that you can pair with Definitely. fish and clams and oysters and that's pretty good. One thing I want to add to what Gary just said. For years he was telling me that stop drinking the same we don't cur- shit. We don't curse on wine text TV. I, I, I told you you could, I was wrong. Right. No, no, this, on this one platform, I never cursed once okay. on Wine Library TV. 1,000 ever. Right. We'll beep it, we'll beep it. Never yeah. once. I'm sorry. This is the one place, I, Dustin. Uh, this is my said, one place. Uh, Shit is also a dead word. Yep, yep, so, that's bad, Dad. Yeah, Garrett always said, from death, stop drinking. Not the same one time. Stop. A thousand episodes said, never cursed once. Everywhere yeah. else, like crazy. Duckhorn. 2022 Sauvignon Blanc from the North Coast. Oh, it's North Coast now. They're making that profit. Um, 87 points, one spectator. 91 points, James Suckling. Um, it's a duck. I love that. Yeah, this has always been a, I mean, the Duck Horn's an iconic winery. I've always been a very big fan yeah. of many of their wines. Merlot, back in the 90s, was monstrous. Something Blanc was always good. Nose. Yeah, you like the nose? Yeah. Now, this one's a suggested retail, 32 bucks. It's about 20 to 25 bucks at good wine stores around the country. Yeah, different kind of nose. This has more pear, a little more apple to it on the uh, nose. Nice fruit. Yeah, solid nose. I like it as well. Creamy. Acacia flower. Google it, Abby, if you don't acacia know. Flower. Acacia flower. As you know, acacia. Would, not acacia the winery. There's an acacia flower. Yeah, Dad, I know this stuff. I, know I was very know. hardcore growing up in your liquor store. I wanted to be the greatest wine taster of all acacia time. Acacia flower. All right, let's give it a whirl. So I think that this wine is interesting. Um, It'd be like, it would be, you like the balance? I think it's very balanced. I'm a, it, I can't believe you said I might, that. I may I'm going to switch from Chardonnay to Sauvignon Blanc you like now. I'm a little bit different with you on this. I think this is like a bad date. It starts off good. Right? Like the nose is right. I don't know about for you, but I thought the finish was incredibly challenging. And like awkward. And I don't like the, the way it finishes. I don't like the taste. I think the aftertaste is pretty... Bitter. I don't find this. It's very important for everybody to watch. This is maybe the most important moment in Wine Text TV history. Brought to you by WineText.com, America's best way of buying great wine at discounted prices. This is very important, I'm not joking. It, you have to understand what's happening here. There is no great or horrible wines. There are just great and horrible wines to you. Every palette is different. Dad and I seem to be on the same page on the first two wines. It seems like we're a little bit different on this one, which mm-hmm. is amazing. You know, and, and there's so many factors that go into it. First, we all have different palettes. You're gonna like different things. Please, one of the great things that I'm scared of as I start to do this show again is that we are going to be in a place where I start to gain popularity and social for my wine reviews and people are going to start thinking that I'm right. There is no right. There's right for you. The only way to really understand what's right for you is the whole point of this show. Try different wines. By the way, the thing that the three of us spend all the time on with winetext.com, me and Brandon talk multiple times a day of trying to offer different kinds of wines. We had a Washington State Cabernet today that I was really interested in. Most people just get caught in their love of California Cab Mm -hmm. and they don't realize that Washington State is killing it. And because Washington State is making such great Cabernet, but it doesn't have the same pizzazz as Napa Valley, you're paying for the brand. It's like fashion. You know, 
an outfit or a handbag can be so much more just because it says Dior or Gucci on it, but the quality of another brand that is also high fashion may be just as equal, but it doesn't have as much demand. People think about that in other places. They don't think about it in wine. I think Duckhorn is a great winery, makes great stuff, and that's why their Sauvignon Blanc can sell between $20 and $30 when a lot of California Sauvignon Blancs are, are 10, 15, 20 bucks. So they have more pizzazz. On this wine though, I will say it again. I see it a little bit different. I've got to rate it. That's what I do on this show. I think this wine starts off great. The nose is great. We both agree. I think the, the body is okay. It's silky. I think, mm-hmm. I, I think that's, that's why you I, like that's it. That's why I, I like agree. it. Right. Uh-huh. It's got a nice banana peel thing that, but the finish is, is off balanced. And there's a nice banana peel, like a green banana peel. There's some nice aspects to it. But I find the mid palate to be hollow. There's not a lot going on. I think it declines in, in its complexity from the beginning to the end. And I'll say it again, a bad date. And I find a bad date uh, in the way that I judge it is you had hope for it. You thought it could be good. It starts off good and it ends horribly. And that's what the Duckhorn Sauvignon Blanc feels like to me. Um, again, a little bit closer to Wine Spectator than I'm James Suckling, 91.87. I'm gonna go take the under. I'm gonna go 84 points. Fred Baxter, rare tight end for the New York Jets for all the Jet fans, wore number 84. I would give I'm 89 points. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, uh, okay. I like it. Good for you. Yeah. I like that. All of you should go out and buy the Duckhorn Sauvignon Blanc. Try it and say if you agree with me or with Dad. That'd be fun. Pauline, Sancerre. Domain Sellers de Pauline 2022 Sancerre, 90 points wine enthusiast. This wine is a $32 suggested mm-hmm. retail. Give it a rinse. Sancerre has exploded. Do want to rinse? Uh huh. Exploded in popularity. Yeah. It's hard to get even. Just like a rose? Yeah. That's... But the difference is there's a ton of rose available. Yeah, but take 10 years or I don't even know how many years. Nobody drank rosé. At in, all. In, 20 in years America. ago, nobody. Now it's hot. But here's Run the difference. France, everybody's drinking uh, rosé. But what's the difference is with rosé, there's so much rosé out there. Yes. With Sancerre, it got hot it's, and it you is, can't find it. That's right. Right? That's Which is why, as a matter of fact, Brandon and I, for yeah. wine text this summer, have a lot of Sancerre alternatives. Mm-hmm. If you love Sancerre alternatives, go to winetext.com and sign up because they're coming in May, June, and July. But we had to do that because these are too expensive. Anyway, Isn't that this enough? One, yeah, this one's twenty-five right, to forty right. dollars. If you can find it, let's give it a sniffy sniff. You could right, much bigger nose. Do you, do you smell a little bit like a a burnt tire? Almost like you didn't have a BMX bike because they didn't have those in Russia. But for the kids in the eighties, you had these I, BMX bikes, and you would skid out, and you could smell rubber. It's like burnt rubber. In Russia, we used to have tourists. Not Russia, the Soviet the Union. Soviet Union, <laughs> right. <laughs> he tricked me again. I didn't trick you, you just walked <laughs> yeah, into it. No, that's my dad's favorite thing to do to my mom. So I just did it to him. No, so we right. just had a fun little moment that we enjoyed very much. Mom enjoyed it the most, I promise. <laughs> little burnt rubber on the nose. A hint of pear again. Asian pear, if I'm gonna be exact and be on my game. So on this nose, you get a little bit of rubber, a little Asian uh, pear. Let's give it a whirl. This was a tough show. I don't love this wine either. I don't know. It's like medium bodied. It's fine. Like everyone's so hyped on Sancerre, and I think like people just think like every Sancerre that's, is I great. I think that's more. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's a mid bodied Sauvignon Blanc. I would never pay kind of the. 25 to 40 dollars that this wine is. I, the Anna is a much better wine in my opinion. I think this is kind of similar to on par with Duckhorn with a little bit, yeah, but to me this is an 85 point wine. Put it up, put up the scores. I can't wait to do the post. Make sure we do get, do have some fun with the post. Uh, you know, I'm sorry to say like three of the four Sauvignon Blancs kind of, let me just order the way I see it. Like all three of these are non-buys for me. The, uh, the Anna is probably the buy for you. Yeah. on the other hand is a little bit more like this. Yeah, a little bit, Do you bit, like yeah. this? You, you, yeah, you didn't yeah. mind that either? No, 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 no. I like that. Yep. Definitely. What happened? We didn't pay, we, we didn't did pay, we our, pay our bills. A, We're not paying our bills. Bill? Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, I just want to, is that, are we done, almost done? Well, yeah, I, I've done my spiel. No, no, Go ahead, no, do your thing. Okay, I just want to uh, raise my glass and wish everybody whose birthday today 
because you know it's a leap year and uh, people miss you know uh, they only have the date 29 every four years so i wish everybody health happiness and love you all and uh, all the best and drink good stuff and try different things and what would you and like join to do the wine Tax.com. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being on episode you. two. I love you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you for episode three of winetext.tv.com. If you want to buy great wines at big discounts, yeah. we'll see you next time.